What's up everyone? Today we're going to be deploying your site to the World Wide Web for all the world to see for free using GitHub Pages. Let's get right into it. Alright, so we're starting with a completely empty repository and we're going to go ahead and create our index.html. And we can go ahead and stub that out real quick and we'll just call this GitHub Pages. Um, and in our body, let's go ahead and do an H1. We'll say hello world. Pretty typical. Uh, let's do a little paragraph and we'll say, um, my name is Matt. Little smiley face, why not? And then we'll put an image underneath it. So let's try and find an image real quick. Um, let's go ahead. Let me see. I have an image of me somewhere in here. All right, mattmorgan.jpg. Perfect. Hey, look at that guy. Um, all right, so let's close that. And if I actually, so typically, you know, you could just put Matt Morgan JPEG there and you'd be good to go, you know, do an alternate, you know, profile, pick, text. Um, but the way GitHub Pages works, it actually follows a Jekyll schema. And so if you actually try to go to this, it'll try to go to an actual route. So, um, or a web page. So it'll be like slash Matt Morgan JPEG. And it'll think it's a web page, which is ridiculous. But Either way, we actually have to do a little bit of uh, maneuvering here. And so we'll add a folder and we'll call it assets. And then, um, so it needs to be an, it needs to be a folder called assets. And then by default, most of the time, it's kind of a standardization to put an images folder inside assets, but I don't think you actually need this folder. So you could just put it directly in the assets folder, but we'll put an images folder just because usually you don't have more assets than just images. And so it's pretty nice just to always have that images folder in there. Um, and so now what we'll actually do is we'll put assets slash images like that. Oh, slash Matt Morgan at JPEG. All right. And then what we can do is we'll go ahead and link a CSS file too. So link.css, style.css. And I believe you can actually put the style.css file in the root, which is a little strange, but again, don't ask me why. Um, it's the Jekyll, the Jekyll way. Uh, if it doesn't, we may have to move it into an assets folder as well, but I don't believe you need it for CSS. Uh, and so body, we'll put margin and pattern zero, and then we'll just text align everything center. I mean, we're not we're not trying to style this thing to look great, uh, but we'll say H1, and we'll say, you know, padding top uh, four M's, and then let's see the paragraph. It probably comes with default margin, but let's just set it um, two M's top and bottom zero M's on the left and the right. And then our image, let's just say, uh, with, let's make it, let's make it big. Let's do 40 M's max with 90%, just so that it looks good on mobile too. I don't know, we're, we're styling for mobile and desktop. Um, all right, so pretty basic styles. Uh, hopefully that actually gets applied. But what we're actually gonna do now is we're gonna show you actually how to get this thing deployed. So imagine this is actually just a regular project um, and open up GitHub. I've already created this repository called GH Pages. Uh, this is in our um, actual organization, but it wouldn't matter if it was your personal GitHub. Uh, GitHub actually allows you to do unlimited web or GitHub pages for projects now. It just has a separate URL. And so uh, it's specified by the repository. They allow one GitHub repo per person or per organization, but then unlimited per project. And so if you want like this, there's a, you can actually have a standard website for just your organization that has, you know, a, a better looking URL. Um, and you can actually add custom URLs, I think now too. So it's gotten pretty robust. And even this GitHub actions too, I believe allows you to have a build process. And so if you wanted to do something with a build process, you actually could, so you could deploy, um, I believe you can actually deploy something like a next JS project now, but I'm not certain about that. If you know for sure, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to actually, do uh, a future video on that because I'm sure it's possible. Uh, but again, it used to not be possible, but I think now you can do it with GitHub Actions. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get this repo ready. So we're going to open up Terminal and we're going to git init it. And then we're going to uh, git add everything. So git, a, git add dash a, git status just to look. All right, so we'll git commit. Um, initial commit all right so we're in there um, then we can get we can make the branch main and they've been pushing that for a while so if you want you know get on the main branch sure 
And uh, we're going to, oh, we need the remote. So let's see, the remote, uh, let's go HTTPS, and here's our remote right there. So get remote, so let's go ahead, add that remote, and then we're gonna get push dash u origin main, and we should be good. So, all right, so we actually pushed everything to main. If we go back and we refresh, we can see that we actually have files in here now. We have our index.html, we have our style.css, we have our asset images, and in here, hopefully we have, yep, we have my, my picture, perfect. All right, so what we can do now is we can go to settings, top right, or yeah, top right uh, tab up here, and pages. All right, and so what it says is source is build, deploy from a branch. You can also deploy from GitHub Actions, like I was saying before, if you actually need to be cut a customized build process, best for using frameworks. So yeah, I believe there is a way to do something like next now, which is really awesome. Um, but we're going to deploy from the main branch and we're gonna deploy from root, all right? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and save this. And it looks like you can actually add a custom domain as well. But um, from right now, it serves from our site domain, which is covalence-io.github.io. And we have HTTPS enforced, which is nice. Um, if you didn't do that, I believe you can unenforce that if you put your own custom domain, uh, but we're not gonna be doing that right now. And so what we are going to be looking at is we're just kind of waiting for it to deploy right now. And so if you go into here, you see this little orange dot. So you click that, it says some checks haven't completed yet, and it actually has pages build and deployment. So we can actually go into this process real quick and we can see that we have some jobs here. Jekyll's doing all this fun stuff. It's uploading artifacts. It's checking that this is you know an okay thing to actually build. Um, and then we have our report build status here. And this is a pretty quick thing. It just actually like does like a little report. Um, and just kind of looks at what's happening with the build. And then we have our deploy phase, set up jobs and deploy to GitHub pages. So it looks like everything went swimmingly. We have completed the job and it looks like we have our evaluated environment URL, which is just our organization. In your case, if you do it from your personal GitHub, it would be your personal GitHub username, .github.io and then the project is slash, you know, the project repository name, right? And so we can click that and bam, we have our page, it's live. We have a URL that we can share. It's HTTPS um, encrypted uh, and we have hello world. My name is Matt and we have a picture of me and now I'm famous. So hopefully you guys get it working. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but it is awesome because you could do this with pretty much every one of your repositories. So there's no excuses anymore. All right, so I hope that was easy enough. I tried to keep it pretty simple, pretty quick. And if there's any additional questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like I said, this was a very basic website that we were deploying at a project level. And like I said, GitHub Pages actually allows you to have unlimited project level sites. So you can take as many as you want for lot, uh, as many as you want live for free and have all your stuff open to the public, open to the internet for all the world to see. And you know, it's awesome stuff, right? And so I definitely highly recommend you looking into it more. If you have additional sites that need build processes and whatnot, look into GitHub Actions. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be dropping a video soon with that content. And again, drop some comments below if you have any additional questions and check out our merch in the link below. And if you have any additional content ideas, let us know as well. Otherwise, we're gonna keep making what we want and we'll hopefully see you soon.